Hi, my name is Kevin Furness and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to do an unboxing video on Magic the Gathering, Arena of the Pla Planeswalkers. This two to five player game designed by Wizards of the Coast and published by Hasbro. And that's all I know about that. So uh, the cover's got Jace on it. Looks really cool and epic, and it shows some of the miniatures you can play. They're the Planeswalkers, obviously. Um, it looks like you can play... Oh, it looks like you can play a, a digital version on uh, iTunes or your Google phone, if you got that. Uh, that's all I can basically say about the cover. So let's crack this nut open and see what's inside. Okay, so we have the box all set. You know what? Say what you want about Hasbro, but they really know how to make some artwork that makes it look almost like it should be on a movie. Uh, that's what really draws you to it. Okay, so this time it's just tape. So we're going to take the X-Acto knife and we're just going to cut all four corners instead of just going around. All right. Okay, there we go. That's a lot of miniatures. Ah, uh, we got, looks like we got elves. We got, um, it's really hard to tell without actually picking them up. Or a card. We got all sorts of really cool stuff from Magic the Gathering. And, of course, what's, oh! Looks like it gives you, oh yeah, this this has a build your own arena, like HeroScape, and it's it's like even HeroScape-esque, well actually it's not esque, it's exactly like the HeroScape tiles, and yep, there's more on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna, looks like we're gonna have to dismantle this piece by piece, so actually I'm gonna pull out this portion. Gonna dismantle this portion dang actually this one I'm not going to open because there's a bunch of little tiny pieces they're very very tiny I'm afraid of losing any so I'm just going to keep this closed it's just a big 30 sided die or 20 sided die it's really hard to tell from inside the bag more of the HeroScape tiles this really reminds me of HeroScape yeah because they even have the little power tiles It's really reminding me of HeroScape. It was one of my favorite games growing up as a child. There we go. Ah, there it is, the rule book. Okie dokie. So first what we're going to do is we're going to place this on here. And I'm going to carefully cut it. Hopefully, ah, there we go, plastic is coming off. And it says, you know, Magic the Gathering, Arena of the Planeswalkers. It's an, Magic the Gathering is an awesome card game. I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of you guys at home have played the card game uh, at least once in your life. Every gamer probably has. All right, yep, yeah. and they don't break apart. They look like they do, but they don't. And oh, that looks so cool. That artwork looks really, really cool. And here's the reverse of that. There we go. And more tiles. Ah, and there's Jace. Ah, they all have characters on the other end and it's all reversible. Actually, this one goes here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care which way it goes back. Gideon. Never heard of him. We're going to punch out this because it's pretty big punch outs. 
Just looks like damaged pieces of wall. Gonna add that to the box. Like I said, just looks like damaged pieces of wall. There's a token. I'm gonna put this back into the little, the bigger box. Okay. And now that that's done, gonna place everything back in the box so it looks nice and neat. And we're gonna place this right here. Now what I need to do is I need to open up these. I really hate it when a game makes it like vacuum sealed. I mean, I get it. It's to make sure that nothing bad happens to the cards and stuff, but it's almost like the plastic in itself is a security thing. So this is Nissa, Elf Ranger. Oh, so these must be the characters. Yeah, squad creatures. Uh, I do not know how to pronounce this Planeswalker's name because there's been an argument with my friends about which, like, how to pronounce this Planeswalker's name. I think it's uh, Shandara, but other people says it's Chandara. I don't know. And here's some phoenixes. You can't kill a phoenix. It just comes back. And elemental cats. So cats that are made of fire. Meow. That's a big em emphasis on that right there. And Rocks veterans, so rhino soldiers basically, and there's Gideon. Uh, core hookmasters. There's Jace. We've got illusionary projection. Yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna actually place these underneath the, the box of Planeswalkers. And yep, yeah, last but not least, the deck of cards. The deck of cards. This is not only really cool, but it's really fun. So the back, they don't look like normal magic cards. Normal magic cards, I don't know if you guys at home have seen normal magic cards, but on the back it's like a table and it's got the elements around the table. Fire, water. Uh, it's uh, red, green, blue, white, and black. So these are all the interesting cards that we get to use and have fun with. Jace's I love this card. It's a pretty cool card. I use it in one of my decks. I love Unsummon as well. I also use that in my deck. I, I usually play with a permission deck, so I know what most of these cards do. Uh, this is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to put these tokens back in. Again, the only reason that I'm not taking these out is because they're small pieces and they can easily get lost, and I don't want to lose them. I, I, I just got this game. I'm not ready to lose pieces quite yet. And then I can, can place the deck right there. And then I'll place the rules right on top. And I will place... Uh -huh. There's that farting noise that we all missed. And there we go. Magic the Gathering Planeswalkers. Well, there you go. There's the arena of the Planeswalkers. I'm... I apologize to you guys if that felt like a pretty short unboxing, but it's really hard to get in depth with a game when there's cards involved. Um, I did mention like Unsummon, it unsummons a creature, uh, you know, a lot of this different, just the stuff that I know because I've used the cards before. Um, it's also really hard to tell with figures because they're not painted. Um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure you guys know this because, you know, there's multiple, multiple games with unpainted figures. That's nothing against the game or anything. Um, it's, perfectly it's perfectly fine for a game to have unpainted figures, but it's just a lot nicer when they are painted. I might get the figures painted just to add a little punch to it. Um, like I said, this has the terrain and the building of my, one of my favorite uh, games when I was a kid. Uh, it was HeroScape. 
I'm really so sad of what happened to that to that game. I really wish they could bring it back, like maybe bring out a revised third edition or something like that. And I don't know, maybe add some magic characters in there. Just hopefully it doesn't take over. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about this game, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. As well as if you would like to see me do a how to play uh, video on this game, uh, put that in the suggestion in the comments below as well. And uh, I'm pretty sure this will I'm pretty sure this will make it to my how to play list. It's just I want to make sure I know which one I should put priority on. So that way I can make you the video. Uh, I guarantee you Jordan will have a lot of fun because she's only played the magic card game once and she doesn't ever want to play it again. Uh, if you want to if uh, toss in some encouraging comments in the comments below that Jordan should try give magic a second chance if you're a big magic fan. Uh, so be on the lookout for my next gameplay video. I will be doing a gameplay video on Small World. Uh, but until then, thanks for the views. Mm -hmm.